Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Gilbo here in the Republic of Georgia with First Things Foundation. Today I'd like to talk about a project I've started with a local dentist named Tamar. To give you some background, I actually met her parents first, and so I would go in the early winter months when I was here in November, December, January, uh, to a butcher shop and second-hand clothes shop in the main town called Achatzicheh. And I would spend time there in the early mornings, um, having breakfasts and tea and um, cheese and jams and getting to interact with their customers. And after a while, uh, Tamar and her family would stop by, husband and kids, and uh, that's how I got to know Tamar. Our organization has actually worked with Tamar before, so our previous field worker here in Georgia, Oswald, he helped renovate her clinic, uh, making it to be able to be sterilized, um, getting her a chair and everything. And so uh, now the task at hand is to find sterilization equipment that is more efficient. Currently, she has uh, a dry heat autoclave, which is a machine that sterilizes tools with dry heat. Uh, she's currently looking for a steam autoclave so that it would be half the time to sterilize. So it'd be 45 minutes instead of two hours. And it would be more efficient energy wise and would allow her to see uh, at least five to seven more patients uh, per week. We're looking at about $2,128 uh, to purchase this equipment. I found it in Tbilisi. I've been to the uh, dentist shops where you can purchase uh, the autoclave. And so I've seen it myself and it, it's, it's quality equipment. Uh, with the steam autoclave, uh, there needs to be packaging equipment so you can put the tools in plastic bags, seal them, and then you put them in the steam autoclave. Tamar is currently in search of a steam autoclave so that she can increase the number of villagers she sees in her clinic uh, per weekend. Monday through Fridays, she works at a dental clinic in the main city, Achatzike, and on the weekends, she comes back to her home in the village, Arali, um, about 30 minutes away from the main city, where she um, gives quality dental care to villagers here. Um, these villagers, many of them don't have their own cars, um, and they don't have a lot of money, and so she's trying to provide quality dental care at prices they can afford. And so, um, by getting this steam sterilization equipment, um, she'd be able to better to better serve her community. Currently, I'm looking for grants in either the states or Georgia. Um, if you know of any, I would love to have you write me. Uh, my email is on the first things webpage and that's at first hyphen things.org um, the goal is again two thousand one hundred and twenty eight dollars and that's about five hundred and thirty dollars per month by the end of the year that's when Tamar hopes to acquire this this equipment so I would love your support in this project and either uh, by their financial means or by prayers and I look forward to speaking with you all next month thank you